Good afternoon friends. Uh, today is uh, March 8th and I'm recording this uh, for next week which is starting on Monday, March 11th. Uh, the first, uh, let's start looking at the S&P. Uh, S&P reached its 100% uh, of its range. Uh, that's the AB range which is 1551 and that's exactly where they close today. Um, it has a price cluster there between 100, 100 and 162% BC. Um, and then uh, I guess you know the trend is still strong. So I'm expecting it to probably still tend to tend to continue. Um, the next target ranges in S&P would be 1607 and 1679. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this run but I think it may probably we may see a little bit of a retracement before it actually moves higher. Um, but at the same time I also wanted to show you another uh, pattern which I posted it on, on uh, last Friday's video which is a S&P 30 minute chart showing the inverse head and shoulder pattern there. <clears throat> and there it has a inverse head and shoulder pattern and uh, this is the basis for my trading this week. So here um, the ranges uh, for the inverse head and shoulder patterns, uh, most of the times it actually completes its 100% of its range which is 1565. Um, that's only like about 14 points from here but the first target zones will be between 1550 and 57 and the next target would be uh, about 1565. Uh, the another pattern which a lot of people are talking and I've seen in um, a lot of analysts and also on a lot of blogs is a, something called a uh, rising wedge pattern. Uh, this is probably more pronounced in a weekly and also in a monthly charts. Um, rising wedges are uh, a pretty effective patterns but this is the, what we are looking at is the weekly chart right and also they are only effective if the price actually trades below the lower trend line first and that's the first clue that it's actually breaking down and the second clue comes actually the confirmation so the confirmation comes when price closes below the last pivot in the rising wedge pattern and the last pivot is something like a 1342 and that's the pattern. So that's about 200 points from now. Uh, I'm not sure you know the 200 point drop is going to come anytime soon. Uh, I don't see any signs of it and if it's if it's sudden we cannot tell but I guess you know the pattern is only valid when these two things happen. So until then it just a just another pattern you know so and patterns you need to take it uh, when they actually give you a trigger. So now now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, the next one which is a gold. Uh, gold is a uh, pretty much in a solid uh, downtrend mode and it is a uh, it is a kind of in a double bottom pattern but you know there is no indications that you know, it's going to stop uh, anytime soon so let's just not you know do anything with it you know until it actually gives a day, some type of a double bottom uh, reversal uh, kind of a uh, trigger but I think until then there is no trade in gold. Uh, now let's look at uh, another one is QM which is the oil and here oil is, uh, I am trading oil, you know, I've been trading it for a while. Uh, I have USO 35 call options. Um, uh, my targets in oil, uh, even before this, uh, the first, when the first ABC formed, and that one was about 98 and 102, I think. Uh, even now, I guess I'm just still going to maintain it, but we do not have a trigger on it, oil. Uh, yet because first we need to see the uh, trade about the EL and also it's uh, it must read about this 200 period moving average and then we can probably think about uh, another trigger into oil but until then there is no trigger. Uh, let's look at Apple. Of course Apple is in a, in a massive downtrend but that's not what I wanted to show. I wanted to show uh, here. Uh, this is a head and shoulder pattern which has been forming for quite some time in Apple. Uh, the, the first target uh, zone for this is uh, between 390 and 419. In fact, that's where it actually stopped and it reversed and I think it's trading just about $12 above it. Uh, it doesn't mean that you know, it's automatic buy yet because uh, even head and shoulder patterns will continue and trade, you know, all the way close to 100% of its range. And that's, you know, $350 and that's quite quite far from here. Uh, so the first target is still 390 and 419. Uh, so let's just wait and see, but I do not have a position in Apple yet. So the next one is Arun. 
Um, this is an ABC pattern, but that's not the reason why I am actually trading it and I have posted this before. Uh, I don't know, I'm trading it because of uh, this uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern. Inverse head and shoulder pattern uh, with a gap above the neckline, and that's pretty much a pretty bullish condition. Uh, so I'm actually trading this $30 call, um, call options, and that is uh, the the first target is between 30 and 32 and the next could be the 34 uh, that's where it, it actually completes it so um, that's what it is and so I'm actually waiting for it uh, this to happen so the next stock uh, is a brocade a uh, brocade I am I'm long and I have posted this also in the past and I'm actually uh, along uh, from about like a five one half dollars but I have six dollar calls the first targets are between six and a half and seven and it could go even higher to this uh, much higher like a seven and a half or even higher so I think that is what is my uh, I'm trading the six dollar calls uh, the next one is the CHK which is the Chesapeake uh, Chesapeake has uh, an ABC pattern I don't have a position yet uh, in it and also I'm looking at DVN uh, which is that both of them actually have a uh, kind of a trades and DVN probably is a better entry but I don't have a positions yet and I'm actually still going to wait a little more uh, to see some type of confirmations uh, the next one is the Crocs Uh, Crocs, I'm actually trading it because of this inverse head and shoulder pattern here. Uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern uh, is just started it and it actually trading about 200 period and also the neckline. So that is a kind of a uh, an indication and so I'm actually trading this uh, Crocs also. Uh, next one is Cisco. Uh, Cisco I have traded Cisco in the past and I don't have a position and Cisco seems to be in a, a still strong, strong trend and it's heading towards this 22.75 and 24.5 and, and that would be the uh, targets uh, for Cisco. Our next one is the Coinstar. Uh, Coinstar I think I posted it quite a few times some of you probably know this uh, and uh, now I'm back into uh, Coinstar. Uh, Coinstar today it actually traded about uh, one dollar thirty cents about its price uh, and then it's now it's trading about this uh, uh, 200 period moving average and also it gave me an entry uh, it's trading above its entry level so now I'm back into it uh, so my targets would be this 55 um, I guess this is a 55 and 50, 58 dollars uh, is the first target uh, next one is a Chevron uh, I do not have a position since Chevron but this is the one which was my uh, kind of a proxy for the oil uh, but I thought that I would show you is it actually just completed its first uh, uh, target zone uh, next one is a again I do not have position in F5 but I thought I would show you is a here uh, an ABC still a development but what else it has it is it also has a an inverse head and shoulder pattern uh, forming right now so in order for it to, to enter it uh, we definitely need to see this price to trigger an entry and that entry may come above this $97 in fact the better may be if it trades above this 200 period moving average that's about $98 so that's when actually we'll probably wait and see but currently I don't have a position for it yet uh, next one is a GD which I posted it last week uh, I have positions in GD and today it went about close to a dollar today uh, so my targets in GD uh, of this ABC is uh, 71 and 73 and I, I think I am trading $70 calls on it okay uh, this one I do not have a position here this is the Green Mountain uh, Green Mountain is heading towards its target and I'm incredibly surprised it's uh, after its reversal you know how strong it's trading it uh, today also it went up by dollar and a half and next targets would be 57 and 63 uh, that would be the target zone for this uh, uh, ABC pattern Uh, next one is just the Goldman Sachs uh, I don't have a position in Goldman Sachs but I think it's um, what I wanted to show you is the weekly chart of Goldman Sachs which has an ABC pattern and the target would be $162 and I'm not going to short it at that point or anything I thought that I'll just show you that it's going to reach its targets uh, the next one is Intel 
Um, I have posted this last week and I do have positions in Intel and I am trading this uh, $23, 23 calls. I believe they are May and June calls. Uh, I have two sets of them. Uh, so I guess it's an ABC pattern and today it actually fell about 34 cents. Uh, but I think, you know, so that is my target for that. That's the first target zone. It could even trade much higher too. And Intel's earnings are coming on April 16th, which is uh, uh, close to five weeks from now. Uh, this is the one I'm trading it uh, is another one called a uh, Meli, which is a Mercado uh, This one doesn't have an ABC pattern uh, Let me see if I can show you the other pattern. Nope. I can't I think uh, uh, this is I'm actually trading the stock itself uh, Another one is the Nvidia uh, this also I posted it and I do have positions in the Nvidia and I have 13 calls uh, So I guess this is based on ABC bullish pattern too and now it's a uh, kind of trading about this 200 period moving average so now i'm hoping that it would get to this 13 dollars uh to, i think i started trading it uh, when it first uh, went above this uh, year level that's about 1225. uh the next one i wanted to show is uh, timco uh timco's earnings are actually due march uh, 28 that's the end of this month and here is an ABC pattern and it went uh, up two dollars um, I believe two days ago and now uh, it's trading about this year level and the target ranges would be uh, between this 24 and 25 first and it could go if the earnings really turn out well it could go even higher too uh, the last one I wanted to show you is a uh, Xilinx uh, Xilinx some of you probably know uh, I have already uh, closed my position in Xilinx when it traded at $39. Uh, now it came back and uh, so just I think a couple of days ago um, Xilinx CEO was on um, uh, Jim Cramer's show on CNBC and I guess you know he was also quite bullish about it so now the stock is again moving back up but currently I don't have a position in Xilinx yet. And that would be the end of this uh, <clears throat> stocks but uh, on Monday uh, March 11th uh, at 4.30 I'm actually presenting a, a seminar online uh, this is a free seminar and uh, this is for this is on um, this is a big mic trading forums so if you go to my website or even to the uh, big mic trading forums and then click on it and you will see a link where you can actually register it and this I'll be talking about patterns and harmonics uh, trading uh, it has got a lot of where you could ask a lot of questions and then I'll try to answer them uh, this is on 4.30, so I guess I'll uh, see you guys on Monday. Uh, thanks a lot, and thanks for your uh, kind comments and uh, emails. Um, I will uh, continue to post uh, again on Monday. Uh, thanks again, and have a great weekend.